So I'm watching the news again after doing some work. I take a break and kind of keep up on what's going on in the news. And that sounds like all four officers are being um, held accountable, which I think is good. And then um, there's thousands and thousands of people converging in Washington, D.C. And then we have our president <clears throat> um, bringing in military, making America look a little bit more like Germany <laughs> during Hitler's time-ish, sort of. Hopefully it doesn't get that bad. But anyways, um, I have a book here on um, the political order and political decay. And since Trump is such uh, an authoritarian and such a strong arm, I'd read this one little thing here. It says, the rule of law that grants rights to citizens also has an intrinsic value independent of whether those rights are useful in promoting economic growth. And Trump's all about money. A lot of people are. Individual rights to speak freely, to assemble, to criticize, and to participate in politics constitute recognition by the state of the dignity of its citizens. An authoritarian state, at best, treats its citizens as if they were ignorant or immature children who need adult supervision for their own good. At worst, at worst, it treats them as resources to be exploited or trash to be disposed of. That makes me think about Trump's drain the swamps and how I guess maybe he's only benefiting the rich because the rich get richer and the poor get poorer kind of thing. Um, a rule of law that protects individual rights in effect recognizes that citizens are adults who are capable of independent moral choice. I would much rather fight a war with cuss words or have someone scream at me than pull a weapon on me. Yeah. Our country is lacking some morals. I know Lane County Courthouse sure is. And some uh, standards, double standards. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is why so many tyrants have, util have ultimately faced revolts of outraged dignity on the part of their own citizens. Yes, that's why I have been mocking some of the stuff that I've gone through. Outraged at how I've been exploited and used and abused and lied about and treated. But it's okay because I'm still alive and I'm scared for our country. And I'm scared sometimes for my own life um, because I've already been through a lot. But I could only imagine if I were black how much more I would be enraged. Or if I were any other minority. I mean, being a redhead is bad enough. And being a creative writer is bad enough. So I'm good. It's a calm day. Good. I'm glad I'm not Trump. Damn glad I'm not Trump. Or some other people I can think of. 